Hello, welcome to Get A Better Broadcast podcast and video voice. I'm Peter Stewart, author of several books on TV and radio presentation skills. And the idea behind these short daily podcasts is help you to do everything to help you to read out loud, confidently, convincingly and conversationally as well. Now, at the moment, we're talking about those various mouth clicks and pops which are in addition an annoying addition to actually your your verbalization your actual words that you're creating the mouth pops and clicks and smacks and we're dealing with these over the last couple of days and over the next few days as well and we're talking about those hydration related mouth clicks yesterday we talked about what you can do in advance to make sure that you're topped up with fluids And during the recording, yeah, there are some other things you can do when you're actually in the studio, whether it's a a live like radio studio or maybe your home studio where you're doing some voiceovers or presenting some YouTubes or webinars or something like that. Or maybe you're in a professional recording studio, you're doing some animation, you're doing some e-learning or narration, for example. So during the recording, here's our first top tip. Don't guzzle lots of water. (laughs) Now, you may think that's uh, counterintuitive, but let's actually take that apart. Don't guzzle lots of water. Instead, take your regular sips every five or ten minutes of of water in, a, of course, a spill-proof bottle, probably on the floor as well. So a little and often rather than one great huge guzzle. And wash the water around your mouth before swallowing it. It doesn't perhaps sound very nice, but it will help break up all those kind of nasties and keep your mouth feeling fresh as well. Another top tip is to eat things like green apple slices or sip fresh pineapple juice because the malic acid in green apples helps flush away the mucus and clean the mouth. And other foods high in acidity will help in a similar way as well. You can trick yourself into producing more saliva and you can do that by making sucking and chewing actions in your mouth as though there was food actually there. And if you wear headphones, you can hear yourself as you make those mouth clicks. Now, that may not sound very nice, but you'll be more aware of what you're actually doing. And if you consider turning up your headphones a little bit louder, well, obviously, the louder you have them within reason, the easier it will be to hear, be annoyed by, and eliminate all those clicks and pops and snaps. When speaking for a long time, those sticky sounds may return, and that's partly because you're breathing more through your mouth between each phrase the longer you go on for, and also because of the nature of those dry air-conditioned studios. So keep up with your hydration to keep those clicks and pops at bay. And a couple of other tips. After a recording, consider running your audio through a processing program like Isotope to reduce any extraneous noises. I'm Peter Stewart. Tomorrow, why you should take dry mouth super seriously. There may be some underlying reason that you've got to go and see a health professional about. From London, I'm Peter Stewart.